So many breast cancers are what we call HER2 positive. Uh, HER2 stands for Human Epidermal Growth Factor Receptor 2. And as we use the term HER2, we can, we can refer either to the gene that makes HER2 uh, uh, or the gene product, the actual protein that's called HER2. The protein actually resides uh, on the membrane or the surface of the cell, both with an, uh, a part of the HER2 molecule that's outside the cell, and it extends through the membrane into the, uh, to the inside uh, of the cell. And we measure HER2 uh, in breast cancers in two different ways. Uh, one by measuring how many copies of the gene are present, and we call that gene amplification if there are too many present. And the other is by measuring how much protein uh, is on the surface of the cell that's the HER2 uh, protein. And we do that analysis by a special pathologic technique that's called immunohistochemistry that just tells us whether or not that protein is present or not. Knowing if that protein is present or not or the gene is amplified is important because there are drugs that we can use that target that HER2 protein receptor. And the HER2 pro targeting the HER2 protein receptor is reasonable because it helps to regulate whether cells are growing or not. And if that uh, receptor is activated and interacting with other receptors on the cell surface, it tends to make cells grow, which obviously is bad as it relates to a cancer. So trastuzumab is a monoclonal antibody that is administered that targets or goes to the part of the HER2 protein that is outside the cell, that's sticking outside the cell, and it combines with that. And in doing that, it interferes with the activity of the HER2 protein. And so it, it uh, stops the signal that the HER2 protein gives the cell to grow and divide. It may also help the immune system in the patient actually target uh, the cancer cells from an immune uh, point of view as well.